Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists, here's a series of emails where they discuss testing the Pacific waters and near Alaska for radiation. The first email from April 5th from Richard Rayon to Henry Jones, 6.50 a.m. In regards to request for briefing to the Japan Near-Term Task Force on Tsunami and Other Flooding Issues. It says, Henry, quick question. Regarding the RAD within the ocean, shouldn't a RHEB hydrologist be doing this work with you rather than Chris? We don't get involved in geology with RGS. They should not be getting involved with our business. Your thoughts? Question mark. Okay, and the response from Henry Jones, he says, Chris has significant experience modeling thermal plumes and biota. He is also familiar with the Princeton Ocean Model, POM, that forms the basis of the NOAA and Navy Ocean Forecast Systems. Okay, the next email uh, from the 6th, from Ronald Lavera to Richard Rayon, subject, Analysis Support for Pacific Alaskan Water. Rich, I spoke with Ed Roach this morning about possible assistance should you all be asked to evaluate potential contamination of waters near Alaska resulting from Pacific current transport of material from Japan. The best person in CHPB for providing this type of assistance is Jean-Claude Demel. Unfortunately, he is doing an audit of Arriva over the next couple of days, so I was not able to talk to him this morning. Ed did suggest that you contact Dr. Stephen Schaefer, who works with Stephanie Bush Goddard in research. Prior to transferring to research, Dr. Schaefer worked in the effluence portion of CHPB, so I believe that he would be familiar with the type of support that you seek. You may want to contact Dr. Schaefer earlier rather than later to see if any baseline sampling needs to be done prior to the projected plume arrival. Since some of the sample target values are pretty low and may not be routinely performed, Collection of baseline samples may aid in the evaluation of data scatter. Please let me know if there is anything else we can do to assist your efforts. So, and I've already shown proof we're in March and April, the NRC, DOE, TEPCO, all these guys are aware of intentional discharge of radioactive water. Tons and tons, much more than 300 tons per day that they're saying now. I've already disproven that with factual evidence from the FOIA documents in my video called Pacific Rim, how and why radiation got to the world's largest ocean. Okay, and you need to watch that if you haven't seen that yet, because again, I draw from the FOIA documents, and I prove that NRC and DOE and all these other guys have known all along that TEPCO is intentionally discharging radioactive water into the Pacific, leaking at times, uh, pouring over the walls of the uh, pit at times, but at many other times, they're intentionally discharging into the water. And this back and forth of emails, again, is evidence they are discussing sampling and testing for contamination of waters. We're near Alaska, near Alaska. Let's go back and look at all the seals. Let's look at the polar bears. And folks, I say Alaska got hit pretty hard. That's just what I wanted to show you in this series of emails, that there is discussion of sampling, baseline sampling, sampling near Alaska, thermal plumes. Um, and then he even talks about... Uh, regarding radiation in the ocean. Okay, there's your admission right there. They know all about the radiation in the ocean. They knew it since March and April when in TEPCO was admittedly in the FOIA documents intentionally discharging radioactive water into the Pacific. And then he even says something about the arrival of the plume. They're expecting, you know, when it's going to reach a projected plume arrival. So, so they know all about it. They know all about it and they knew all about it in March and April. And that's the point to the Pacific Rim video and a couple of these smaller videos I've been doing recently and just to bolster the case and concrete the evidence that they knew this all along but just keep quiet about it and mainstream doesn't talk about it and alternative media is told to keep quiet about it and if you're lucky and you find a couple people on youtube maybe actually talking about these for you documents okay folks hatrick penry have a great day i'm going disc golfing this morning hoping to get a birdie tweet 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 over now
We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.